massive uh, wind turbines that they have here in Tasmania. We come up where we live. Um, instead of spending the money on another dam and generating more power from another uh, hydro plant, they decided to bring in these turbines. The Labor government and the Greens bring them in. Uh, financially, they nearly broke the state. They nearly broke a lot of businesses doing it. It's not really worth it. We used to, when we come here 20 years ago, we had uh, six power blackouts. Uh, we still have blackouts. We have about three a year. Um, I think, it's, to me anyway, it's a failed piece of infrastructure. They're a great idea, but you've got to remember too that everyone's going to be paying for this. For a long time. Uh, uh, there's a lot of them. Some people are getting up to $1,600 a quarter here in Tasmania for power bills. That's just household. Um, me personally, it's just me and my wife. We get up to a uh, winter bill is about $600, a summer bill is about $400, thereabouts. With a family of four or even more, obviously the cost goes up. And uh, yeah, so we're not saving any money by having them. Uh, I, I don't think I would have done it personally. I just think I would have. Created more power by having another power plant. Of course, we've got plenty of water here in Tasmania. The hydro is um, really efficient. And here we have a dead wombat. And he was hit hard. How could you hit, you know, why don't you just stop? Years ago, I hit a wombat. Uh, it was in New South Wales. Coming out of Alligator Gorge and old XC Falcon. And anyway, we're going through um, the gorge, and this wombat came out the road. And uh, next thing you know, we ran over him, we couldn't avoid him, we just ran straight over him. And he lodged himself between the tail shaft and the gearbox. And the front wheels of the car were off the ground. And we weren't going anywhere. The trouble is, it was a two-way road. And a lot of hairpin corners on the road. And we had to get a flat tray to come and get our car. And there must have been, without exaggerating, probably about two, three hundred cars backed up behind us. All wanted to get home. Right, there you go. But these days they've got another highway coming through that. They bypasses the gorge altogether. I think it's shortened the trip from um, Sydney to uh, Mossvale by about two hours by putting in the new road. So everyone gets home at a decent time. But here in Tasmania, the infrastructure here is pretty old. It's, it's steadily getting to where it should be. But as I said in the beginning of the video, it's got to be paid for and the consumer pays for it. Um, yeah, so we're just heading down the road now. And uh, I'll let you enjoy the drive. Coming on to 
Cape Port, Portland, uh, Cape Portland Road rather. If you want to, you can turn to the left or go right. Again. In 300 meters, turn right onto Cape Portland Road, C844. That's taken us home. Do you want to go down further and have a look? Yep. All right, we're going to go to Cape Portland. We're not going home just yet. We've got plenty of time. Um, going to explore the area a bit more. Look for other camping grounds. Turn right onto Cape Portland Road, C844. And go left. Ooh. March to the off for a while. Change yeah. it. Continue on Cape Portland Road for one and a half kilometres. Change it to Muscle Bay. Oh, it's called Muscle Road. Another thing about the area too is there's a lot of four-wheel drive trucks around here. Uh, some of them have been closed off. They've got huge boulders across the entrance, and you can't go down it. But there are there are roads you can go down. Uh, we're going in, I think, to Muscle Bay. Yeah. Going into Muscle Bay and having a look. So uh, yeah, enjoy the ride. Well, they're close to the houses, some of the windmills. We had a bit of a panic when we packed up this morning. We saw the front come over. In 400 meters, turn right onto Little Muscle Row Road, C844. And um, we started getting in a hurry and getting frustrated and that's not us we usually take our time doing things turn right onto Little Muscle Row Road C844 that's private property in front of us so we'll turn around here and keep going continue on Little Muscle Row Road for three kilometres We're pretty sure there's other camping areas around here. Just haven't come across them yet. I'm hoping to get all the modifications done to the Jeep so we can go off road and find our secret spots around the place. And uh, yeah, so um, we'll see what happens in the future. We don't know. We're still in the midst of this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. It's come out of China. And uh, yeah, so we'll go down this road and have a look, see what we can find. The camping area, well, we'll we, there's a sign back where we turned off, where we went. It said that the uh, camping areas down here are closed. They're only open for four months of the year. So, but it's all the summer months. And like I, like I said on one of the other videos, the bugs in this place, they just want to kill you. And they come out in the summer and they start coming out in the spring. Which time's pretty bad though in Tasmania. Yeah, but winter time is bad. The, the weather, if the bugs don't get you, the weather will. So you sort of got to pick your time. The best thing to do in Tassie when you come camping, track the weather. Just keep an eye on the weather and see if you can work out some sort of mapping. Um, as you can see there's a substation for the turbines so these these stations are fully automated there's no one on them uh, which is probably the which is probably the point really of having these things these wind turbines that no one around to operate them they, they're computer controlled so if something goes wrong with them they stop um, I have seen them burst into flames not here but in Holland 
and on Europe on European continent on uh, other YouTube videos I've seen these things burst in the flames and they don't stop turning they just continuously turning until they disintegrate and fall apart I haven't seen it here in Tassie yet I haven't seen any anything that says otherwise but as you can see in 400 meters turn left to stay on Little Muscle Row Road C844 these things are everywhere the advantage is when you camp here in Tasmania in the summer there are more places turn left to stay on Little Muscle Row Road C844 there are more places to go, Little Muscle Bay. Um, the advantage is having continue on Little Muscle Row Road for three kilometres. Having a four-wheel drive is that um, that's what it's intended to be used for, off-road. And uh, that's what we're hoping to use the Jeep for. It, it's a medium off-road car at the moment. It's not really keep going, there, Eva. Yeah, I'm just going to look. It's, oh. science. it's, it's a visiting centre. Huh? So we're just coming on to... Um, See in front of us is a giant windmill. These things are really big. And um, we're coming into we're just on the outskirts of uh, Muscle Bay now. Little Muscle Bay. They do have muscle season here, I'm told. Um, I don't know how long it goes for. I didn't even read the information, it's just all seasonal muscles here, right? Eh? Not really interested. We're going to check out. Going to check out all the uh, camping grounds down here. Yeah, it might be worth coming down here in the summer. I'm not sure. But the uh, thing about an area like this, you, you can't have uh, open fires in the summertime. Um, our fire ban tells you goes for about six months or even longer sometimes, depending on the weather pattern. If the if we start getting northerlies in Tasmania, it gets really hot because of the um, ozone layer being really thin. Uh, we get burnt quite easily here. We've got to really be careful. I've been burned a couple of times in the 20 years we've been here and it hurts. Alright, I'll um, start another video shortly.